Even after what turned out to be one of the most dramatic displays of light seen across the northern skies this weekend, researchers say we may not be quite out of the woods just yet. Okay, that's neat. Whoa! Decrease the ISO, yeah, it's getting bright. Like a thousand, like 800. Holy shit, that is bright. Oh my gosh! What? Wow! The sun released another powerful burst of energy on Sunday, known as a solar flare, reaching its peak intensity at 12.26 p.m. Eastern Time. The flare originated from a region on the sun's surface called Sunspot Region 3664, which has been quite active lately. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, a spacecraft that keeps a constant eye on our nearest star, was able to capture a striking image of this latest solar outburst. Solar flares are immense explosions on the sun that send energy, light, and high-speed particles into space. They occur when the magnetic fields in and around the sun reconnect, releasing huge amounts of stored magnetic energy. Flares are one of our solar system's most powerful explosive events. The last G5 event occurred during the Halloween storms in October 2003. That particular G5 event resulted in power outages in Sweden and damaged power transformers in South Africa, highlighting the potential severity of such geomagnetic disturbances. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa! Those pinks. Dude, this is nuts. Holy shit. Whoa, 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 whoa! This newest storm, caused by seven streams of plasma ejected from the sun earlier this week, could rival the intensity of the 1859 Carrington event, which disrupted global communications and set telegraph stations on fire. Despite these strong magnitude flares, NASA emphasizes harmful radiation from solar flares cannot pass through Earth's atmosphere to physically affect humans on the ground. However, the G4 and G5 storms are considered severe because of their capability of causing technology issues and potential communication disruptions on Earth. One of the most visually striking effects of geomagnetic storms is the formation of auroras, also known as the northern and southern lights. As charged particles collide with Earth's upper atmosphere, they excite oxygen and nitrogen atoms causing them to emit light in various colors. As the charged particles from CMEs and solar flares reach Earth, they interact with the planet's magnetic field. This interaction causes the magnetic field lines to become distorted and compressed, leading to fluctuations in the strength and direction of the magnetic field. This new flare has caused NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center to extend their geomagnetic storm warning until the afternoon of May 13th 2024. Today's flare was classified as an X1.0 flare. Solar flares are categorized into classes based on their strength, with X-class flares being the most intense. The number provides additional information about the flare's strength within that class. An X1 flare is 10 times more powerful than an M1 flare, and thus making it 10 times harder on Earth's atmosphere. These energetic solar eruptions can significantly impact Earth's upper atmosphere and near-Earth space environment. Strong flares can disrupt high-frequency radio communications and GPS navigation signals. The particle radiation and X-rays from flares can also pose great potential risks to astronauts in space, leading many to question 
Just how harmful are these larger flares to humans living on the surface of the Earth? Additionally, the magnetic disturbances from flares, if particularly strong, have the ability to affect electric power grids on Earth, sometimes causing long-lasting blackouts. However, power grid problems are more commonly caused by coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, another type of powerful solar eruption often associated with strong flares. Scientists are always on high alert during these flares, monitoring the sun for these explosive events so that any potential impacts can be anticipated and prepared for. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, along with several other spacecraft, help provide this early warning system. Over the past two days, preliminary reports have surfaced regarding power grid irregularities, degradation of high-frequency communications, GPS outages, and satellite navigation issues. These disruptions are likely to persist as the geomagnetic storm strengthens. According to the Space Weather Prediction Center, auroras will remain visible again tonight over most of the continental United States, as long as the weather provides. This spectacular display of lights is a direct result of the ongoing geomagnetic storm. The threat of additional strong solar flares and CMEs, which ultimately result in spectacular aurora displays, will persist until the large and magnetically complex sunspot cluster, region 3664, rotates out of view of the Earth. This is expected to occur by Tuesday, May 14, 2024. The greater than 10 MeV proton flux reached minor to moderate storm levels on May 10th. Additional proton enhancements are likely on May 13th through the 14th due to the flare potential and location of Region 3664. The solar wind environment has been strongly enhanced due to continued CME activity. Solar wind speeds reached a peak of around 620 miles a second on May 12th. A strongly enhanced solar wind environment and continued CME influences are expected to persist on May 12th and the 13th and begin to subside by May 14th. The geomagnetic field reached G4, which is severe for geomagnetic storm levels, in the past 24 hours due to continued CME activity. Periods of G3, which are considered strong geomagnetic storms, are likely with isolated G4 levels possible on May 12th. Periods of G1 to G3, which is minor to strong storming, are likely on May 13th in the latter part of the day and periods of G1, which is minor storms, are likely on May 14th. As the geomagnetic storm rages on, we must remain vigilant and prepared for the potential consequences. Monitor official sources for updates on the storm's progress and any further disruptions to our technological infrastructure. Understanding geomagnetic storms is crucial for protecting our technology-dependent world and mitigating the potential risks associated with these powerful space weather events. As the current geomagnetic storming continues, it is crucial for individuals and organizations to stay informed about the latest developments and take necessary precautions to mitigate any potential risks associated with this extraordinary event. While these storms continue to increase over the coming months, make sure to follow the confidential report for more information. We thank you for watching and look forward to hearing from you in the comments below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for even more stories you need to know about. Thank you and God bless you all. This has been The Confidential Report. For even more stories like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel today. And please show your support by clicking the like button on this video. For even more stories and news you deserve to know the truth about, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching The Confidential Report.